the eccentricity of hyperbola is pi by 4 then find eccentricity of its conjugate hyperbola if e1 comma e2 of eccentricities of hyperbola and the conjugate hyperbola that implies 1 by e1 square plus 1 by e2 square is 1 okay so e1 is eccentricity of hyperbola then e2 is eccentricity of conjugate hyperbola then what is relation relation between eccentricity of hyperbola and its conjugate is 1 by e1 square plus 1 by e2 square is 1 very important relation so given eccentricity of hyperbola as pi by 4 you have to calculate eccentricity of conjugate hyperbola got it now given e1 as pi by 4 what is even according to our assumption even as eccentricity of hyperbola so substitute there 1 by 5 by 4 whole square plus 1 by e2 square. Now solve this, uh, this gives you answer. 1 by e2 square is equal to 1 by 5 by 4 whole square, 25 by 16, 1 by 25 by 16, which is 16 by 25. Okay. Uh, 1 minus 16 by 25, you have to write, right? Just move this to right side. So 25 is LCM. 25 minus 16 by 25, which is 9 by 25. 1 by e2 square, 9 by 25. Then what is e2 square? 25 by 9. If e2 square is 25 by 9, e2 is 5. 25 by 9, which is 5 by 3. Okay. Very, very important question. Must pack.